in this question, we've been asked to prove that the tan of 50 degrees is equal to the tan of 40 degrees plus 2 times the tan of 10 degrees. Now to prove this, what I'm going to use is a well-known identity, which I'll just write uh, in, uh, here for you first of all. It's the tan of the sum of two angles, let's say tan of A plus B. This is identical to the tan of angle A plus the tan of angle B, all divided by 1 minus tan of the angle A times the tan of angle B. And if we have a minus, that is the tan of A minus B, the result is very similar. We have the tan of A minus tan B all over 1 plus the tan of A times the tan of B. Okay, so it's this identity that I'm going to use extensively throughout this proof. So moving on then to the proof. Okay, what I'm going to look at first of all is the tan of 50 degrees minus 40 degrees. And what this is going to be equal to is of course tan of 10 degrees, but using the formula above, what I get is the tan of 50 degrees minus the tan of 40 degrees, all divided by 1 plus the tan of 50 degrees times the tan of 40 degrees. Now, if I multiply both sides by the denominator here, okay, that is 1 plus tan 50, tan 40, and rearrange it, I'm going to have the tan of 50 degrees minus tan of 40 degrees. Let's just put that first of all down here. I'm going to get the tan of 50 degrees minus the tan of 40 degrees. Whoops. Okay, tan of 40 degrees is going to equal the tan of 50 take 40, in other words tan of 10 degrees, multiplied by the 1 plus tan 50 tan 40. Okay, so 1 plus tan of 50 degrees tan 40 degrees. All right. Now I'm going to work on the right hand side here, so we're going to keep the tan of 10 degrees in that position and then big square bracket and we've got the 1 here plus. Now the tan of 50 degrees, well that's equal to the tan of 60 degrees, take away 10 degrees. And the tan of 40 degrees well that's equal to the tan of 30 degrees plus 10 degrees. Now the trick here is to use key angles 60s and 30 degrees because we know or should know the results for the tan of 60 and the tan of 30 degrees. And it also involves the angle 10 degrees which is obviously used a lot up here. OK, so moving on again, we have the tan of 10 at the front of the square bracket. Then we have the square bracket and the 1. And now what I'm going to do is expand the tan of 60 degrees minus 10 degrees. So using the identity here, where A is 60 and B is 10, we get the tan of 60 degrees minus the tan of 10 degrees all divided by 1 plus tan 60 degrees times the tan of 10 degrees. I'll put that in brackets and that's now multiplied by the expansion of the tan of 30 plus 10 degrees. So again using the identity above this becomes the tan of 30 degrees plus the tan of 10 degrees all divided by 1 minus the tan of 30 degrees times the tan of 10 degrees. 
we'll close the bracket there and come and close the square bracket okay let's just scroll up a bit okay now move on and we've got the tan of 10 degrees at the front here and the one as well now we should note the standard results for the tan of 60 degrees the tan of 60 degrees is the square root of 3 so that's root 3 and then we've got minus tan of 10 degrees and that's all divided by 1 plus tan of 60 which is square root of 3 times the tan of 10 degrees and that's going to be multiplied by so just put that in brackets multiplied by the tan of 30 degrees which is 1 over root 3 plus the tan of the 10 degrees all divided by 1 minus the tan of 30 degrees which is 1 over root 3 times the tan of 10 degrees so close that bracket off and the square bracket moving on again we have the tan of 10 degrees and then 1 plus now I'm going to write this in again okay so we have root 3 minus tan of 10 degrees all over 1 plus the square root of 3 tan of 10 degrees now for the last bracket here I'm going to clean this up by multiplying top and bottom of the fraction by the square root of 3 and what I get is root 3 sorry I don't my mistake I get 1 and then I get plus the square root of 3 times the tan of 10 degrees all over root 3 minus and then here I get tan of 10 degrees okay just close that off scroll up a bit more and again copying this out we have the tan of 10 degrees and then 1 plus now I'm going to multiply out the top of this pair of brackets and the bottom here when I multiply that out I get root 3 times 1 which is root 3 then I get root 3 times root 3 tan 10 so that's 3 tan 10 and then I see I've got a minus tan 10 so that's plus 2 tan 10 and then finally minus tan 10 times plus root 3 tan 10 is minus root 3 times the tan squared of 10 degrees and that's all over and then multiply the bottom out again I get 1 times root 3 which is root 3 and then I have 1 times minus tan of 10 that's minus tan 10 and then I have plus root 3 times the root 3 tan 10 so that's 3 tan 10 so I end up with now 3 tan 10 minus tan 10 that's 2 tan 10 again and finally root 3 tan 10 times the minus tan 10 will give me minus root 3 tan squared of 10 degrees okay now you can see that top and bottom of this fraction is the same so this is going to cancel to 1 and so I'm going to get equals the tan of 10 degrees times 1 plus 1 in other words 2 tan 10 degrees now if I rearrange my equation let's just see what we've got can we just pull that in yes okay I've got tan 50 minus tan 40 equals 2 tan 10 so if I rearrange that I therefore have the final proof that the tan of 50 degrees is equal to the tan of 40 degrees plus 2 tan 10 okay